Trump just announced that if he becomes president, he will eliminate all taxes on overtime pay. It means that if you work more than 40 hours, the amount that you work above 40 hours at the federal level will be tax free. There are three reasons why Trump wants to do this. One, it's going to put more money in the pockets of hardworking people. Two, it will incentivize more people to work. Three, it will incentivize businesses to use their current employees instead of going out and hiring more. Now, there are Imagine a black man in the year 2024 still simping for Orange Jesus. After seeing his full history of what the hell he did in office as president, a lot of you Negroes are suffering from amnesia, but we're gonna bring you back to Earth One. Trump is one of the most racist presidents in history. 152 historians rated him the worst president in history. You wanna know why? I'm gonna tell you why. Trump lied and said he did more for black people than any other president in history, except for Abraham Lincoln with the nod and wink. He said that Haitian people were eating dogs and cats. As president, he said that Haiti and other Af African countries were shithole countries. He was so fucking racist, he dismantled the pandemic response plan that Barack Obama created. He fired the entire pandemic response team that Obama set up. He said Obama wasn't an American citizen. He was so fucking petty, he refused to hang up Obama's picture in the White House, a tradition that had been carried out by every other president. Do you remember that Muslim ban? Mm, I distinctly remember he tried to ban Muslims from entering the country. Remember that damn wall? That racist ass border wall that he wanted Mexico to pay for? Hmm. They didn't pay for it. And he shut down the government, the longest shutdown in American history, because he tried to get us to pay for that damn wall. Funny, didn't Steve Bannon steal millions of dollars from that trying to build the wall scam? Funny how that worked out. And he pardoned Bannon, by the way, for those crimes. Bannon still wind up taking his ass to jail anyway for lying to Congress and not wanting to go before Congress. Trump had the largest rise in hate crimes in history under his watch. In the year 2020, murders spiked to the highest record ever in a single year. Funny how that worked out for a man who's not racist. Trump lied over 30,000 times in four years. Who did it better? Satan or Trump, who was really the father of lies. Trump is the only president in history to be impeached twice. The first impeachment he got hit for, abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. He refused to give the $400 million that Congress had approved to Ukraine while they was fighting for their lives against Russia's advances. All because he wanted foreign powers to make up bullshit stories about Hunter Biden. His second impeachment, inciting an insurrection on January 6, 2021. When Diaper Don and Teflon Khan left office, we had a net loss of 2.9 million jobs, the worst in American history. This man was convicted of fraud, owes almost a half a billion dollars for lying on damn fraudulent companies that he was making and lying about his net worth and constantly inventing numbers of what he was worth. Orange Jesus is the only president in history to be convicted of felonies, falsifying business records. Plus he raw dogged the porn star. <laughs> Why that porn star reminded him of his daughter and he busts his load in 45 seconds. <laughs> Oh, Milani must be proud of that motherfucker. <laughs> Did you forget the man increased national debt by 40% in just four years? The biggest increase in history? And who profited from that shit? The 1%? The Elon Musk of the world. The same businessman, billionaire businessman, who want to bail his ass out and put him back in there again. Trump gripped an ass made $160 million from foreign powers as president. The absolute most corrupt president in history. 
scam the fucking Secret Service, charge them five times the amount, over a million dollars, to go to his own properties while he raped their taxpayer money. An absolute scam. Orange Jesus racist ass said that Black Lives Matter was a hate group. But he told an actual hate group, the Powerpuff Boys, to stand back and stand by. Didn't they fucking leadership get convicted of seditious conspiracy for trying to overthrow our damn democracy on January 6th? Funny how that works, man. All of his fucking lawyers went to jail or got disbarred. His CFO went to fucking Rikers Island twice. Everyone in Trump's orbit went to jail or he pardoned them to stop him from going to jail. Diaper Don, the convicted con, is the only president in history to be charged with fucking racketeering because he organized fake elector schemes all over the damn swing states to try to stay in power after Biden beat his ass like a bass drum in 2020. Biden got the most votes, 81 million in history, and crushed his ass in electoral college. So for all you buck dancing ass black man that's being a simp for damn Dr. Don the Khan, the only damn thing he gonna make great again is my fucking toilet.